Oh, come on, stop being a scaredy cat. Oh, oh, Jesus. Christ, right, that one's for the start of the video. Hi, I'm Scott from Amok Time Flies, and I'm out here to test out the Mini 4 Pro. New drone I just got today, it's brand new out of the box. We're gonna have a little fly around, we're gonna try out some of the tracking features, might even go down in the woods down there, and uh, we're gonna steer clear of that tree over there. It's my nemesis. As Ken Heron says, trees are dicks. Tried to eat my Mini 3 Pro. Okay, we're gonna go for a bit of a hand launch. Right, here we go. Yeah, that's okay. We're not close to them. Okay. There you go. Right. Let's have a look at you. Haven't quite sorted out the uh, tuning and expo yet, but there I am. There's my lovely bald face. Hello! <laughs> right, let's see what she can do. Bit of new Ming to start off with. Oh, better check some settings first. So let's just check we're on break at the moment. I'm going to go to bypass. It does tend to make things a little bit more wobbly on the Air 3. Let's see what it's like for us. I'm displaying the ray radar map. Optimal return to home. Update home point, we might need to do that at some point. We've got the AR on, I believe, yeah. Okay, auxiliary LED, might need that when it gets darker. Okay, should we have a quick bit of a noom to start off with? See how fast this baby goes. Yeah, you can see there, by the way, that's the white horse just in the background. You may have seen some of my other videos. Um, just with the restoration of the white horse, it gets repainted every couple of decades or so. Right, let's just have a bit of a new... Now this is bearing in mind that we don't have... It's a little slow. That we don't have ND filters on this yet. DJ I've got to pack out, but it's not brilliant. I th I believe it's a 1664 and 256 ND filters. Um, I tend to prefer 32. Um, now that's very shonky. Let's just put it into sports mode. I'm not going to go too low. Let's just see how fast this is going. Let's go up a bit. We are going up a hill. What are we on there? 53 kilometres an hour. Just come back down round. She's quite nippy. She seems a bit more nippy than the Mini 3 Pro. Right. Let's go back into normal settings. So you can see at the top here, we've got normal mode. Um, I think we need to go a little bit faster on normal mode. So we've got to gain an expo tuning. We're in normal. We seem to be fine here. We've got the maximum speed. So. See what this is doing. Run so on about 17, 18 kilometers an hour. 19. Okay. Let's come back round. What are we on? Come back down a bit.
he's jiggling around an awful lot. Just jiggling, like crazy. I'm gonna try a hand landing. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, just, just like the air. Three, you probably have to put it in sport mode. Land, hand land it. All right, let's have another go. Okay. And she seems... And she may be getting blown about a little bit by the wind. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, it's probably because I ha did a hand takeoff. And if you've got the pitch wrong when you actually switch her on, yeah, that's much better. Then I think she gets confused. Actually, we're not going to test the OcuSync, forget that. That's for people that do range tests, and I'm not a person that does a range test because they're illegal. Um, but the good thing about it is it's more about penetration. So if you're in a load of woods, you're going to maintain a good signal with the OxSync 4. Um, now, what I'm looking for here is subject. Let's get the over. Let's get the overexposures on. Um, just want to try and find subject scanning. Right. So now I should have a little cross against me. And there I am. Now let me move that out of the way. Again. Right. Going to do active track. And I'm going to do go. Right. Here's the bit that everyone's going on about. This bit here. Okay. Right, let's put... Okay, okay, right. Here we go. Right, let's put a round... here. I'm just going to follow me out. Wow. I have to say that... Um... That saturation on the grass, on my screen anyway, is looking very good. Here we go, there she is. Now let's put her in front of me. Oh, got some bushes over there, watch it, you. All right, let's come around here. Uh, just having a look at some bushes there. She's coming around. She's got a bit of a breeze going. Right. Then we're coming up to the nemesis trees over here. There she is. Yeah, you stay away from them. Stay away from them. Go. Did your brother not tell you what happened to them? Hey, did your brother not tell you what happened to you? What will happen to you if you go in those trees? Yeah. All right, where the hell are you going now? Oh, you're trying to work out what left and right is. Right, okay. So it's these trees here. You can see. They tried to eat your little brother. Let's bring you closer, shall we? Take you down the woods later, yeah? You like that? So this is the southern part of Westbury, southwest part of Westbury. Just over there is the White Horse. Um, you may have seen Leslie Judd actually cleaning that in the 70s, maybe it might have been the early 80s. Obviously, I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, so I was far too young. You're doing well. You're doing well, aren't you? Right, shall we 
just see if we can alter your height whilst we're doing the focus track. Yeah. Let's come down low. There we go, that's about as low as she goes. Um, so obviously there's there's uh, ground detection there. So she doesn't want to go too low, she's scared of the ground. I'm not surprised. Oh. <laughs> I've just achieved my move goal for the day. It's a bit late in the day, isn't it? Right. Shall we do an orbit of the famous tree? I think we shall. Right, okay. I'm gonna stop active track now. Let's move your way a little bit and up. Right, so it's this tree. Now, it was on an orbit with the Mini 3 Pro that we um, had a bit of an issue. You are kidding me. I haven't been recording the whole time. I haven't been recording. <sighs> right. Okay, so get recording now and you'll actually be able to see some nice video instead of just the 1080p. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to need to bring you back in so that we can sync up sound. Okay, right, so now that I've sorted out the video, <laughs> we're going to do an orbit of this tree. Now, what you've got to do is you've just got to check for other trees around you. And I'm just going to come in a little bit because you can see there's a tree down there and there's a tree up there. Um, so I just don't want to fall foul of these trees again. It wasn't very nice last time. It was about the second ever, ever flight I did. So now we're going to just draw a box around the tree. Going to make that our point of interest. And we're going to slowly go around it. Just actually make it fairly fast thinking about it. So I'm going to hit go. Now we've got side sensors on this drone, which is why my Mini 3 Pro came a cropper when it was around here before. But I've got my finger on the pause button just in case. Well, you can see my home point over there. So many of us YouTubers have said, oh, that's the first time I've seen a yellow home point. That's a bit like on, um, on the Avata. There we go, so that's a lovely orbit. Let's take it down a bit, come back in here. She's, um, doesn't want, ah, oh, right, okay, I need to switch that off. I was thinking she doesn't want to do that turn. Right, should we get on me again? Get on, I know it's a fantastic sight and I know how beautiful I am, and this, uh, <laughs> this, this isn't doing, this light's not doing me any favours. I'll stick you over there. Just got to work out what side is left. I don't know how it works that out, whether there's an algorithm that sees faces or sees arms holding out a controller. I don't know how that works. Um, might have to do some research on that. Um, actually, if, uh, if anyone can tell me how that algorithm works, I'd be really, in I'd genuinely be really interested to know. So if you can stick something down in the comments, that'd be great. And uh, perhaps I'll mention it on the next, uh, the next video I do. Right, we're just coming down now to the for oh wow! Can I see that? 
Those trees are just starting to turn in the autumn. I'm going to stop tracking me now. It's not the most interesting. Let's have a look over here. So. These trees, I see, this is, this is what happens when you fly drones. You start just spotting things and every, it's like a drone pilot, with a drone pilot, it's like a hammer. To a hammer, everything is a nail and it's got to nail it. And as a drone pilot, it's a case of everything you see, you've just got to film it. So I am still just in line of sight. I've had to go up a little bit just so that I can see the Mini 4 Pro. There's a crow over there. Hope it's not going to get too arsy with me. I can still see it, still in line of sight. Let's. Uh, It's a beautiful shot. Just the trees now need to stop here because that is MOD land. And so better bring her back. Now what I'm gonna do, that's the home point that I started off at. It's probably not a good idea to have that there. So I'm going to go on to um, update home point. And what we do is we click on the little controller icon just there. That's now updated. Okay. So you can see that moved. So now if I press return to home, there's the AR that uh, first came out on the, uh, the Mavic 3 series. Then shortly after that, it came to the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3, which is nice. All right, so it's just making her way back. It's a beautiful view over there of Westbury and the surrounding countryside. Quite enjoy this, actually. I do. Do you rather like that AR? Where is she? There she is. Right. Let's bring her down a little bit. I'm going to cancel this before she actually lands. How are we for battery? 13 minutes left. That's pretty good. Oh, going down a pipe. I'm going down a pipe. Here I am. I'm in a pipe. Right. Let's just see the... Now there's a shadow. There should be a shadow. There's the shadow. Right, let's uh... oh, flipped up. Probably going to say that's not safe. I'd say that's not safe as well, because if you look down here, it's all straw and stuff like that. That's just going to get all fouled up. So, oh, there's, there's the shadow. So that's where it would have landed. That wouldn't have been great. There's a load of sticky up straw there. Right, so gimbal up. And uh, let's carry on. Let's uh, get her looking at me again. I'll carry on with some active track. We are still recording, yeah. Okay, active track. Go. Now, look at my baldy head. I should have worn my cap today, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, schoolboy error. Well, it's not schoolboy error, is it? Um, let's bring it down a little bit so you can see where I'm walking. Go. Right, so just walking down to this path now, I'm going to then walk down along here. Now there's going to be some good obstacle avoidance testing going along here. I'm not sure whether I'm actually particularly keen on... Oh, right, we've got a dog, we've got a dog. I'm going to put you up in the air. 
Dogs don't like the sound. I think. Are oh, you taking the drone for a walk? Yes. <laughs> I wonder what you're doing. Yeah, well, I'll put her up because dogs don't tend to like the sound. <laughs> I think just uh, she's tra actually tracking quite high up. There's someone else just there, probably with their dog. So we'll just wait for them to go past as well. They're going around the same way. <laughs> Don't you go near that tree. I think. Uh, Not bad, thank you. So, I'm just going around that tree, okay? She's going to lose me. She's having a little think about that tree, but I think she's. Oh. Low battery. Right, let's get her down. She's navigated that tree very well, I have to say. Right, let's uh, stop that. Stop that. Stop looking at me. Bring it down. Come here, you. Feeling a bit tired. That's right, I've got some, some nummy food for you. I've got a lovely battery to stick up your mum. Just going to put her into tracking me again. The Active Track 5. That's what it's called. There I am, Active Track. Go. And we're going to go from behind. Now, I haven't changed the EV settings on here. Normally, I would change them, but as I don't have any ND filters yet, because Freewell haven't got them until. Whoa, I think it's mid-October. Um, I'm going to have to wait until then. I'm not buying... Oh, there, there she goes. She's doing well. Keep going. All right. Don't, now, there is some horse poo up here. Now, one of... Whoa, whoa! One of my previous videos, I was just looking at the controller, walking along here, and trotted a huge pile of horse poo. So, I'm not making that mistake this time. Right, let's do something risky. Now, we've got a bunch of bushes to the side. I'm going to say I want to go to over here. And what's she going to do? Finger on it. She's going to move. There's, so there's a bush just to... and sticks. Ugh. She's trying, she's looking, she's looking! Oh. Right, <laughs> well done. There's some horrible sticks there. A bit like that tree we just went past, but they are sticky sticks. And as we get to autumn, obviously things are gonna get a little more tricky because there's not gonna be as many leaves. There's just gonna be horrible twigs. Twigs are dicks as well. How you doing up there, love? All right, how's the recording going? Oh, looks okay. Right, can she still see me? Has she lost me? Uh, oh, wow! Oh, now that is better than the Air 3 did, I have to say. Now this is where the Air 3 lost it completely. Or is one of these clumps here. Th that was bloody good. I have to, actually, it might be this bush coming up here. So, uh, let's see how we're going. It's getting quite breezy now. So it's sort of a little bit of a push along and then stop. And then a push along and then stop. It's not quite smooth, just tracking and keeping in track. It might be to do with the distance. Certainly I do stand out, so 
The one thing that these drones do need is some good contrast between the subject it's scanning and the background. Um, right, this is the bush. This is where the Air 3 lost it. Let's see what she can do. She's only bloody done it. There we go. Right, we've got a twiggy, twiggy tree coming up. Fingers on the pause button. Watch out for the horse poo. It is getting quite a breeze up now. Right, how's it going with the twigs? So, there we go. She's followed me. Oh, we're getting stuck behind a small branch. No, fine. Strong environmental interference. Not that strong. There we go. Okay. Right, I'm going to bring her back around behind me. Coats down behind. Right, there's a twig. There, she's done it. Brilliant. Nice. Oh, God, I've got horses coming. Actually, I can probably walk faster than the horses. Well, unless they start galloping. Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Um, how fast are they going? Uh, not too bad. Might just get down here. What's that in the path? Squirrels! 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 <laughs> Don't know if you can see them. Ooh. No, just all I'm doing is just zooming in on my bald spot. So we're just approaching golden hour. Well, yep. One minute to golden hour. You should see in one minute, it'll all turn beautiful. And you'll be stunned, you'll be in awe at how suddenly the light just changes and looks really nice. Except that we're, we're going into some, some woods. This might not be that good. Where are the horses now? I'm keeping a good distance in front of them. Right, I'm gonna stick me, stick you in front of me. I'll stick you there. How are you, how are you gonna do going around here? Get going before you get to that tree. Keep going, right. Watch out for that tree. There you go. Nice. There we go. Can you see the horses? Yeah. I don't think the horses are anything to worry about too much. They're more scared of you than you are of them. I'm talking to the drone, by the way, not you guys at home. <laughs> right, this is going to be tricky. You can't see what I can see. Wait a minute, I'm going to... Ooh, steady. Right, let me film it quickly. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Here we go. Come on, love. We're moving, we're going through these trees. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the picture as steady as possible. It is a little difficult. Actually, that sky's coming out quite nice now, I have to say. Yeah, she's doing okay. She's doing okay. Okay. Let's see. There we are. Right, this is gonna get challenging. How are you doing? Oh, there's a tree behind you, there's another tree behind you. So it doesn't look too bad on, on the iPhone, but I have to say. She's doing ever so well. Right, we can stop recording the iPhone now. 21 minutes left on this battery. Nice bit of light just coming through those trees. Ooh, now, now that's a bit steep. Come here.
that is where we used to play as kids. Now, that doesn't look very steep on camera. But I'll go down here. Sorry, I was just moving the drone away just in case it freaked the horses out. Okay. Oh, I'm such a nice chap. I really am. Right, so where were we? So we we're just looking at... So you can see there, actually, the exposure is quite high. It's actually quite dark in here. I'll just, I'll just um, see what the iPhone says about how dark it is. So that's where the drone is. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, this is this is um, probably just generic sort of how how these things work with the algorithms of digital. It's uh, automatically brightened the scene. Um, I might need to do something with that in post though to make it look a little darker. It's, it's a little darker, a little brown and more saturated. What was that noise? <laughs> right, so... Oh. Once again, I forgot to press record. So how difficult is it? Right. Okay, what's she gonna do? She gonna follow me? Oh, we've got another dog. Go on, go back. Go back. <laughs> Let's just wait here. <laughs> of course, I have come out during prime dog walking time. Hello. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> There's not that many dogs actually get freaked out by drones, but I think that's because this Mini 4 Pro is way quieter. It's, it's even quieter than the Mini 3 Pro. Now, if that was uh, the Air 3, it'd be a different matter. Right. Are you going to come behind me? No, you're coming around. You've got to come around here. Right, this is... Come on. Over here. Oh, that's the first time it's lost me. Or oh, has it? Yeah. Right. Into the track. Go. Uh, right, sorry about all the poo. Um, it wasn't me. Okay. Oh, what have we got? We've got some machinery to film. We might have some machinery to film. Oh, we've got some machinery to film. Oh, wicked. Right. Come on. Here we go. Oh, it's right under some wires, but should be okay. Let's follow along behind. Or perhaps go much higher up. Need to get above those wires for definite. There are some wires up there, which I'm worried about.
I don't know whether he was stopping to have a go at me or what. <laughs> it's a bit worrying. Why would he stop in the middle of the field? <laughs> I wanted to get some nice tractor pictures, but I'm just a bit worried. Sometimes it's probably a good idea to get the farmer's permission. I don't know. Yes. I think it, it probably is a good idea. All right. Let's uh, track me again. As we go on our merry way, I've got 11 minutes of battery left. I am recording. All right, that makes a bloody change. Right, we're going to see if we can find... Right, we have got wires all around here. Now, this is one thing you've got to be really careful with when you're flying drones, because drones can't see wires. It's little twigs and wires they can't see. Even with really good obstacle avoidance, these wires, these things, can that drone see it? So if we look on the footage, yeah, I can see it. That's good because it's got that twisty bit around it. But normally the actual wire itself, when they're a little bit fine, drones don't tend to see them very well. There's some people walking over there. So you've just got to be conscious of people. Not that we're doing anything wrong, but uh, just it's about just minimising the risk of confrontation because some people just they don't like drones. They think we're out to spy on them. Like they're doing anything I'd be interested in. <laughs> like there's a little path down here. There's the tractor again. So I think he saw me. I wonder if... Right. Should we risk it? No, you're going to lose me again. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, stop being such a scaredy cat. There she comes. Right, there you go. Right, you're going to follow me now? Just put the gimbal down a bit. No, right, low battery. Right, cancel that. Don't want to return home because that's bloody miles away now. Okay, you're going to follow me through the woods now? Hello? <laughs> right. Active track. Go. You watch yourself. Oh, ambient light's too low. Right. So, I think we go out and see if we can get some shots of... going down through the woods, perhaps. Actually, if the ambient light's too low, then the obstacle avoidance isn't going to be particularly good either. So, let's go out and get some shot. How about a nice hyperlapse of... Woo! Let's get a lovely hyperlapse. Oh, come on, stop being a scaredy cat. Oh, oh, Jesus. Christ, right, that one's for the start of the video. No, don't land. Oh, Jesus H. Some gun around chopping the trees. <laughs> it's just doing it anyway. Fine. I'm going to override that because I've got some wires here. Oh, it's getting windy now. Let's bring that gimbal up. How have you done? All right, did you have fun? Yeah? Right. Come here then. Stop looking at my bald head. Come here, into sports mode again. Here you go, come on then. Come here. Come on down. There we go. Well done. I'm very impressed. So there we go. That's the DJI Mini 4 Pro. All tested. Well, first flight anyway.
Certainly really good on the active track, but with lower light it does struggle. But that's being a little bit unfair to it. I think we'd struggle following someone when we can't see them properly as well. And also just the, the general feel of it, once I've got it calibrated and sorted out, absolutely fine. If you find that it's looking a little bit wonky on its first flight, best thing to do is bring it in, land it, make sure you take it off from a level surface for that point, then I think it kind of calibrates itself. So hand launches after that are probably fine. Um, certainly if it's anything like the Mini 3 Pro, I didn't have any problem with that hand launching it just about every time. So I love it. I think it's great. And I can't wait to make some more films with it. Catch you later. Bye.